All right, so I know a lot of people have had problems with their Smock Novos, and I have had my share of problems with it as well. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to fix your Novo. There's a few different ways to do it. I'll show you all of them. Whenever I tried hitting my Novo, it would blink four times and it wouldn't work when it did this. So I usually fix it by just moving the pot around a little bit like this just moving it back and forth until the light would come on. And that usually meant that it was okay to hit. And it, it worked for a couple months actually. And then finally, after doing everything, after cleaning the pot out, after cleaning it out in here, after moving it around, I tried everything, it stopped working. So there's a few fixes that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. First one is really simple. You just wanna clean the pot out. You wanna clean all the juice that's on it, make sure there's not juice in this little uh, dent in here. Uh, then clean out in here where the prongs are, clean out the sides. I usually just use a tissue or sometimes even my shirt with my pinky or like a pencil, something that fits in here. And that has worked uh, quite a bit for me and other people I know have had problems with their Novos. If that still doesn't work, you want to just mess around with the pod, move it slightly until the light comes on. Sometimes it'll work. Uh, see, it just came on there. So it, it didn't work. It just went back to blinking four lights. So if it still doesn't work for you after you mess around with it, and you see the light come on and it still doesn't work. Make sure you try that a few times though because sometimes the light will come on and it won't work, but other times it, it'll come on and it will work. So just do that a bunch. If that still doesn't work for you, you're going to have to take the casing off and look at the motherboard and the battery in your Nova. The easiest way to do it I've found is removing the back. The back was much easier for me to remove. There was a little bit more of a, a crease in here. It's already open because I've done it before to literally fix this, but you can use anything that can really fit in there maybe like i used a knife after i opened it but don't be dangerous use something safer maybe like a flathead screwdriver or something uh, a lot of people can use just use their fingernails to pry this open and don't worry about just pulling it off you'll feel a lot of tension but it's just glued but the glue doesn't matter it snaps back together with the plastic so so you're just going to want to remove it like this and once you're inside, this is the back side. This is what the back side will look like. As I said before, the back side was much easier for me to pry off. Uh, this is what you'll see. This is the battery right here. This is just a little protective casing. Uh, the sensor is right here. There's a little uh, rubbery plastic cover for the sensor. Don't mess with anything on this side. What you're gonna wanna do is push the battery up like this. It, as you can see, it's attached to like this wire. Don't break it or anything. Just move it up like this so you can see on this side. And just use anything. You can maybe even use your finger or something, a screwdriver to push this down and that will remove the front side. But if you're able to just remove the front side first, that's perfectly fine. You should do that. So I just use my finger to push it out and this is the front side coming off. So this is what it should look like for you right now. Sorry, there's a bunch of sand on this because I took it to the beach. But this is what it should look like for you. Um, I'm just gonna put the back side on really quick. Keep the battery in place. See, it snaps on super easily. So this is what it should look for you right now. Uh, and as you can see on the motherboard here, you should see these three little sort of knobs right here, these three. And what you're gonna wanna do is just press lightly on the two that are on the far furthest left if you're looking at it like this. So there's these three and you're just gonna wanna press against them until the light comes on like this. And uh, see, it's blinking now. Once it blinks, you should be good to try and hit it. If it doesn't work, you can just keep doing it. And just mess with it, just feel around. See, it's blinking. So once it blinks, it should be able to work. Now, if it still isn't working, there's one more thing you can do. And this is something I found that I thought would not be a good idea to do, but it worked perfectly fine. So these two little metal sensor circles that attach or that touch these two prongs on the inside here, uh, you're gonna wanna scratch them with something. I use scissors, you can use anything kind of metal anything hard that'll leave a, a scratch. So these two little circles can get worn off when you put the pod into the vape against these prongs a lot. It can remove some of the, the sensor. So you're just gonna wanna lightly, very lightly scratch it, but with a little bit of pressure. And then you're also gonna wanna just mess with the inside of these. Uh, just kinda push down on them, move it up around it and stuff. Just try to get a little bit of scratch on it. And no, this is not a troll. I know how it sounds, but it, this is the only thing that worked for me once I my vape stopped working. I tried doing this. I tried moving the pot around. I cleaned it out as best I could. I even tried 
cleaning the battery and messing around with more of the motherboard and nothing worked except scratching these two things and then the inside and it's worked perfectly fine since i have had a couple problems but usually i can just fix it by cleaning out the pod in here and if anything else does happen you can always just press on the three little things on the inside of here and that usually gets it working fine and another thing, you can keep the case off and still put the pod in and test it out just in case you don't want to deal with getting the case off. You can still hit the vape while the case is off and the motherboard is open like this just to test it out to see if it's fixing it so you don't have to bother with opening it up again. So let's test it out. I just put the pod back in and I saw the light. works as good as new. All right, thank you for watching the video. If you have any more questions, just leave them down in the comments below. I try to respond to all of them as best as I can. Sometimes a vape is just done and you have to get a new one. That can happen in many cases. Uh, but in my experience, at least with the Novo, there is different ways to fix it and recharge it and do everything else. So just, if you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe better. And yeah, later.